Today I'm going to be teaching you how to turn one patch cable into two patch cables. Now, a couple of different reasons why you want, would want to do this is if you have a house wired and it only has one cable going to a room and you want to have multiple computers in there. Also, if you do not want to go out and buy a switch um, to expand your network and you just want to utilize the cable you already have, or if you're out of cable, there are so many different reasons to do this. Uh, it is kind of a money saver. It can save you on cable, it can save you on equipment, and it actually tends to work a little better because when you put a switch on there, it's splitting that one cable that's going to your router or your modem, whereas if you, have, if you turn one cable into two, you have actual two direct lines. So let's get to it. For this tutorial, you will need four RJ45 ends, some wire cutters, an RJ45 cable crimp, and some Cat5, Cat5e, or Cat6. In a previous tutorial, I showed you the configuration for a patch cable. Now, since we're actually going to be splitting it today, one thing that you should know is that the patch cable uses only four wires. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking these eight wires and splitting them. Now, the fun thing about it is as long as it's the same color on either side, you'll be able to make two patch cables out of the one cable. Now, to simplify things, what we're going to do is the first side of the first cable, we are going to make it white orange, orange, white green, and then we're actually going to skip two spots, and we're going to do green. So those are the four cables that the patch cable actually is going to utilize. So for the second one, since we have some colors left over, we're actually going to do white brown, brown, and then white blue, Skip to blue. So we're going to do this two times on the same cable, and we're going to do this two times on the same cable. And I'm actually going to show you what it's going to look like. And this is just so everybody can see the finished product. This is the ends on my router. And this is the end on my computer. Now, I did put a extender RJ45 extender on this, that way I can run another cable to another computer in the room, rather than running two separate cables or having a switch added. Just like my previous tutorial on how to make a patch cable, um, you do need some cable, cable crimps, wire cutters, and since we're going to be making a dual cable, you do want to follow the dual cable configuration. And I will try to have that posted. Basically, it's an economy patch cable, but we're using the extra colors. So, first of all, obviously, we want to get the plastic end off. Now, this is a little more tricky because we're not going to have the RJ45 crimp on the outer plastic like a patch cable. It's literally just going to be the wires themselves. So, for this, we are going to need a lot of slack on these smaller wires so you have a little playroom with it. So, I'm going to leave about an inch. And it doesn't matter how well that's cut because obviously we're just going to have two separate cables. So, to separate it out, obviously the orange cabling and the green cabling is going to be one cable. And the blue and brown is going to be another one. So let's get this in order. We're going to do white, orange, orange, and white, green, and green. Okay, my apologies for this edit. Um, I'm not sure why, but these are both Cat5e. Now, the interesting thing is, I, I was using this for the sake of the tutorial, but the cables are actually so flimsy and so fragile that they can't even withstand their own their own 
cabling when trying to insert it into a slot on the RG45. Now obviously if they're all together, they'll go in just fine, but if you want to put individual cables in, it won't do it. So that just shows that that's just a really low grade cable that's not even worth my time. So I went ahead and pulled out some better cable and we're right back where we left off. So now we have so now we have the three cables in and we do need to skip two spots and get the fourth one in. Just have to make sure that those are going up all the way before we crimp them. So now you can see may not be straight but it is in there. So that's our first out of four. And that's on there. And now on to the second one. So for this we went white brown brown, white blue blue. Thank you. 